hidden messages in Rihanna's hit song Umbrella. We have all listened to this song that has become a hit all over the world that many of us sing out loud regardless of knowing what it means. When I first listened to this song I was convinced it was about a woman's unconditional love towards her man, but I was proven wrong when I did my research on the song, the song pertains to a storm about to take place and she is offering her lover protection under her umbrella you can stand under my umbrella. Thus indicating that this person offering you protection has superior power than you. Takes control of you. It can possess you. So let's break down the song into an analysis and break out the truth of this song, as we know Rihanna is the singer of this song from beginning to end but takes on two roles of characters. At the beginning of the video she portrays an evil entity trying to seduce and possess her. However, the second character is herself, the dialogue we could basically say is based on this evil entity and Rihanna like a devil-like entity. Before I break down the music video I would like to talk about Jay-Z's rap at the beginning of the song, he portrays as someone who is already possessed and already under the umbrella of this evil entity who we could say is the devil. Here is Jay-Z's rap in the beginning of the song. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain, I hydroplane in the bank. Coming down with the Dow Jones. When the clouds come we gone, we Rockefeller. We fly higher than weather. And G5S are better, you know me. An anticipation, for precipitation. Stack chips for the rainy day. J, Rain Man is back with Little Miss Sunshine. Rihanna where you at? Let's take a closer look at this part of the lyric. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain, I hydroplane in the bank. Coming down with the Dow Jones. If you didn't get it we could basically say the storm that is crashing down is the economy and financial world. We can get this from the line in the lyric when it says coming down with the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones is the main indicator of the health in the stock market. If this were to collapse, we can look at a market crash. If we dissected the song and looked deeper we could say that it has a pessimistic view on the future. Jay-Z mentions in the second line let it rain, basically saying he does not care for the financial crisis, I hydroplane in the bank, here he is basically saying when the financial crisis floods us all he is above water and surviving the crisis. When the clouds come we gone, we Rockefeller. Rockefeller is the name of Jay-Z's record label but also the name of John D. Rockefeller and his family, whom happen to be the biggest industrialists in American history and a huge part in the formation of the social economic world Americans are living in. So the breakthrough of the song says that when the storm comes we won't be here to suffer it. We fly higher than weather. And G5S are better, you know me. When looking at the first line of this part we can see that Jay-Z is talking about that when the financial crisis does strike, he is above the problem. And back to the fact that he is already possessed, he enjoys the protection that makes him invulnerable to the storm. Also, we all know that a G5 is a private jet, indicating that Jay-Z is saying he'll live in luxury even when the storm is over. An anticipation, for precipitation. Stack chips for the rainy day. Here Jay-Z is saying he is expecting the major crisis, and which he is prepared for this crisis. But also shows indications that he might also be talking about the recession in America and its future happenings. Jay, Rain Man is back with Little Miss Sunshine. Rihanna where you at? This brings us back to the photos I have attached above. At this moment Rihanna is still innocent and not yet possessed and that is why Jay-Z refers to her as M.S. Sunshine. Jay-Z also calls himself Rain Man who is already possessed, so he already is bad and he is calling for Rihanna to join him. So from what we have read so far we have clear knowledge that this song has no relation to love, relationships or friendship. He is implying that he is part of the chosen, the elite a group that cannot be harmed by the tribulations of the small people. And we have also learned that Jay-Z is associated with those who are causes this financial crisis happen, and won't be affected because of that. This group bows down to evil and worships it. Which clearly says, Rihanna has a chance to be a part of the chosen, has to do the same. Now we're going to break down Rihanna's lyrics, here is the first verse to the song. 
you have my heart. And we'll never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazines. But you'll still be my star. Baby cause in the dark. You can't see shiny cars. And that's when you need me there. With you I'll always share. Rihanna is singing this part of the song but the devil is actually sweet talking her to gain access into her body to possess her. If we were to translate these lyrics this is how it would sound, these lyrics are mine written. I love you. Even if I'm not from your world, I'll never be far from you. You may be famous and in magazines. But you'll always be my star, nobody else's. Because when you won't be successful anymore. When you won't be able to buy shiny cars and material things. That's when you'll need my protection. With you I'll always share my riches. Rihanna is being offered a life of luxury and riches by the devil, even though the consequence will be that she will lose all popularity and generating a money income from her music career, sounds tempting for us all. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took an oath I must stick it out till the end. Now it's raining more than ever. But we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. Here is a translation, again not by me. When you shine from your success, we both profit from it. I will always be part of you. I will always be on your side. I promised you I would protect you and I will do it as long as necessary. Now the financial crisis is afflicting the world. But I'm still here with you. You can be under my protection. You can be under my protection. You may find the Ella Ella as very catchy in the song, I admit I did also. The repetitive rhythm of this chant makes it out to be very reminiscent of spells or summons. These fancy things, will never come in between. You're part of my entity, here for infinity. When the war has took its part. When the world has dealt its cards. If the hand is hard, together we'll mend your heart. Here is a translation. All of your material possessions will never separate me and you. You're part of my entity, I own you, until the end of times. When the crisis has ravaged the world. When we'll know the final outcome of the world. If you're in trouble, me and you will stop the pain. If we first look at your part of my entity we can see it is very relevant to her because the word entity is not a word thrown around when we love somebody, as an entity is not human, they are of ghost like a distinct separate existence to it. Here for infinity gives an immortal feel to the song like it does not live or die. When the world has took its part, when the world has dealt its card is quite a you could say a gloomy line to a song. Indicating that that a terrible event will occur severely around the world and that it will rearrange how the world functions after this strike. We are again looking at a crisis happening and the devil is offering his protection to Rihanna so it doesn't affect her also. Now let's take a look at the bridge of the same. You can run into my arms. It's okay don't be alarmed. Come into me. There's no distance in between our love. So go on and let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. Because. We cannot tell within the song itself that this is in fact a dialogue between the devil and Rihanna. However the music video gives a clue of the dialogue between them both when Rihanna answers the devil. The devil is basically telling Rihanna. You can run into my arms. It's okay don't be alarmed. And with a translation. You can come and seek my protection. Don't be scared of the crisis. Rihanna finally answers the devil when he has offered her his protection with, come into me as if she is saying come inside of my body and possess me. The song then says, there's no distance between our love. The devil has now taken possession of Rihanna and there is no longer distance between them both. The devil ends with saying, so go on and let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. And if we translate this. Let the world get what it deserves, I'll take care of you. Now that we have looked at the lyrics let's go ahead and dig into the music video. When you watch the music video to Umbrella you may be blinded to the symbolism and confirmations of the devil trying to get inside Rihanna to possess her. 
This also shows a level of interpretation by the process of possession which is actually rape. When Jay-Z starts rapping we see him with six black clad women, and as I previously stated Jay-Z has already been possessed by the devil. The six women at the beginning represent Jay-Z's thoughts being controlled. Afterwards we see Rihanna dressed in black leather wearing a black top hat, showing masculine and pure evidence that she is represented as the evil entity. If you were to look closely at her fingernails you can see that they are really long, showing clear indication that this interprets a demonic, ungodly creature. If you were to look at her body posture and movements when she starts singing, she moves in a sexually seductive way to reflect the devil's attempt to seduce and possess her. He doesn't want to possess her mentally only, also physically as well. The explosion of the chrome-like liquid bursting from behind Rihanna after her first verse is clear evidence of the rape from the devil on Rihanna. This picture is evidence of Rihanna being raped by the devil, thus showing that Rihanna right now is the nice innocent girl with some respect in herself. While this is going on, Rihanna dances as if she is showing defensive gestures to the devil. If you look you can see this, that she is protecting herself from the liquid representing the fluids of the devil which strikes her a total of six times. From Jay-Z's part in the song with the six women we now add together the two six and have six six. We then get an image of Rihanna naked covered in this chrome liquid laying inside a triangle shape which is very symbolic. Rihanna has been raped by the devil and is now covered in his semen. When we look, she seems in pain and not to be her innocent self anymore. Looking at the triangle, for occultists, an upwards triangle represents the phallus, the penis. As she is laying in the triangle she is completely under the spell of the devil's energy. If you look closely at the photo it clearly shows Rihanna on her knees with her arms up, and head on the floor. It also shows something else, the devil's face. Rihanna has made the to look like Baphomet who is in the photo on the right. You can see the two eyes, snout, and the long horns. But if you were to ask anyone, Rihanna in this position is physically impossible. So this image has been digitally manipulated to look like this because it is anatomically incorrect. But if you were to notice this on the music video you realize it only lasts a few seconds, which is a typical subliminal message. Rihanna as we now see her has been possessed by the devil and now has become the bad girl. Like Jay-Z at the beginning with the six clad women, Rihanna is now dancing with six clad men which represents her state of possession. As we can see her right hand is holding a closed umbrella which represents a phallus. The devil has been successful, he's taken over Rihanna. And as suggested in the video, she is asking for more. This part is the sickest and most shocking part, at the end of the song Rihanna asks her rapist to come inside of her again. It's raining. Oh baby it's raining. Baby come into me. Come into me. It's raining. Oh baby it's raining. The oh baby makes it clear that she is anxious for the devil to be inside of her, and we're not talking about raindrops dropping from the sky. With a total of six female black clads at the beginning, the six splashes onto Rihanna from the chrome liquid and the male black clads Rihanna dances with, with all these numbers put together we get 666.